So this is an example on where the black powder for DTF should be used on. So in this case we have this uh, military shirt with strong uh, strong uh, colors already on it and multiple colors on one so it's on one shirt so it's not uh, just single color so what happens is that the color of shirt of uh, on the shirt makes changes on uh, the white ink in the transfer so what happens is that uh, this is basically you do see uh, some additional color through the through the existing one so this should be a white over here this age but you can see that the color from beneath is uh, it almost it's almost like it's uh, partially uh, makes partially this uh, transfer color from transfer partially transparent so you have this uh, differences over here so we don't have completely white but something like uh, seems like reddish a bit and it's uh, brown from beneath and this is not so extreme but you can also have places like this so this is already pretty much uh, the whole image is in different color uh, we have a white white ink here and there but mostly it's going like uh, purple or, or uh, pink pink maybe even pink is more closer to what we have he here and that's with white powder and uh, this could be prevented or so so they say with uh, black powder so we're gonna see if that's gonna happen with our tests over here but if we've used uh, black powder we should be having still this image completely white without any of uh, pink stripes over here and similar stuff because you can see where the black where t-shirt is painted black we do have a white uh, white color on the surface but if there's something else beneath we have uh, depending on the color even if, where the green is it's not so uh, problematic but brown does a lot of changes to the surface so we're gonna see if we're gonna be successful with black powder here okay check it out we got some uh, interesting results over here with black powder so let's start with this uh, military shirt which is um, i'd say most difficult to get done properly uh, you've seen from previous uh, example that we had some reddish stuff in white because of the uh, brown from beneath and you can see now that there's the white is only white nothing on on white not uh, any kind of stripes just white so this is much better than the pr previous example with this military shirt and also i've noticed that uh, colors are a bit more uh, more vibrant which can also be seen here on this uh, black black shirt <clears throat> example so this is the uh, this is the one which is uh, done with uh, black powder and 
this is ordinary white powder which is uh, pretty good also but I'm not sure if you can see I think you can uh, maybe the the inks are a bit more vibrant over here with the black powder than the white a bit more intensity in the black in there maybe if we can look at it from a different angle not uh, not very big difference but there is certainly some difference and also white is more intense but you can uh, also regulate this stuff if you have uh, like thicker thicker white under base or over base in this case when you print DTF and maybe a little bit more of uh, black to get this result but uh, both of these images are printed with the same percentage in the rip so only the only uh, the intensity and the uh, vibrancy comes from uh, using different powder so this is a bit more uh, I'd say this is a bit bit more better this is not bad also but this is better and one more thing which is interesting what goes better for uh, light shirts or or in this case white shirt this one uh, on the top is with the white powder and it's more more vibrant more uh, more white I don't know if you can see on the camera but there's white text over here which is white white and also this is pretty vibrant and this one is with the black powder as and as you can see it this text is somewhat I don't know it's not gray uh, it's grayish it's not white and also if you printed on a white t-shirt such as this you might be having problems with this uh, with the powder going uh, over the image so you can see there's there's these dots black dots over here so wh the what I would say as the conclusion is that the black powder would work better with uh, dark garments or uh, black shirts dark shirts and something uh, uh, like this like military shirts something which is pretty much uh, heavy to do correctly so we got uh, and that's for the powder we used because maybe there are some other uh, manufacturers of powder maybe won't be having uh, results like this and for the white or light shirts definitely the ordinary white powder works better which can be seen over here so that's all for this test i hope you have a uh, some uh useful information out of all this and hope you have a success doing your shirts shirt business